All right, so Taylor Swift just dropped Ready For It, and it's an interesting second step into the reputation era. As we know from Look What You Made Me Do, uh, she is talking about the news media, she's talking about how people portray her, uh, and how everybody thinks that she's like this terrible serial dater, and quite a few other terrible things. Uh, and in this song, she goes into a particular relationship with some dude as a way of, of sort of halfway satiring what people think of her. And then there are elements of the song that I think are sincere. So we'll look at which are which. Uh, but first, let's talk about this dude. Uh, he's a little bit younger than she's used to. She says that he's younger than her exes, but he acts like such a man. Um, and then she also says that he's kind of a bad boy. I wonder how many girls he had left and left haunted, but she also thinks that maybe she can out bad him. So but if he's a ghost, then I can be a phantom holding him for ransom. And so she's gonna try to, to out bad him. She's gonna try to be like uh, you know, his type of person as she's becoming like this sort of dark tailor that we hear from the very heavy overproduced music. Uh, third, uh, it's a little bit more sexual, so in the chorus, in the middle of the night, in my dreams, you should see the things we do, baby. Uh, so it's obviously like a reference to sex, and I wonder if that's not a little bit of a satire of, of like music in general. Uh, but this, the chorus sounds so sincere, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but the last time that we heard Taylor Swift get the sexual would be in a song like Wildest Dreams where it gets super like anthemic and the it feels almost orchestral and it's very like rising and positive. It's like in a major key uh, and it sounds so much different from the rest of the song that we wonder if she's not maybe saying something different about it. So there is that sexual element, but we're not quite sure uh, if she's becoming more of like a sexual songwriter like so many other people in the industry are. Fourth, uh, there's this crime metaphor. So in the first verse, he's a killer and he's haunting people. She's gonna hold him for ransom. And in the, in the second verse, she says, knew I was a robber, and she's wondering if he'll join the heist, and then they're going to move to an island together once they're rich, and he can be her jailer, and ask, why'd you do this, Taylor? And now, the crime metaphor, Taylor Swift is, like, not a criminal, right? Like, she's the opposite, almost, even of, like, a bad girl. Uh, she you know, creates packages for people, she shows up at fans' weddings, she has cats, She's hardly what most would call a dark personality, especially if you listen to her earlier music. There's like almost nothing dark apart from, you know, just like dark experiences, but she's not like a dark person. Uh, and so it's interesting that she pulls this like crime metaphor in here and it suggests even more so that it's satire or that she's playing to some other people's view of her. Uh, but then we get into the, you know, the next point, and that's that she has changed. Like, something is different here is what she's trying to say. And I don't think that she maybe has changed so much as a person unless she's, like, more bitter because of all of the hate that she gets or she's just, like, fine, whatever. And that's kind of what she talks about in Look What You Made Me Do where she says, look what you made me do. Fine, I'll just be this person that you think that I am. Here we go. Uh, and I think in the song we see a little bit more of that too, but it's kind of like a general overall change that she's continuing from Look What You Made Me Do. So... Then, an interesting lyric was, let the games begin. Uh, and so she, from the first, she's looking at this guy and she's kind of daydreaming about it. And that's the very title, ready for it. Like she's waiting for him to say if he's ready for the games to begin uh, as they begin the dating rituals that Taylor Swift is supposedly supposed to go through according to, you know, the tabloids and everybody else. And that's a really big hint that the song is largely satire because she's calling this dating thing a, a game and letting the games begin. I mean, that reminds me of Hunger Games where people are gonna die, right? Like it's gonna get violent as they go into the dating, but she's still like daydreaming about how good things could be. Remember those crime metaphors, it's gonna be dangerous. Uh, so finally then, I wanna say that here are the three things that Taylor wants us to know about her as a result of this song. One, I think that this is half fantasy. So the verses don't sound like who we know that she is, we true Swifties, right? Uh, but the chorus, in the middle of the night, in my dreams, you should see the things we do, baby. In the middle of the night's my dream. I know I'm going to be with you, so I'll take my time. The rest of the song is like way more intense, and it's not about taking your time. Um, and so I think that this chorus is her kind of taking a step back from the satire and being like, no, I really want to be with you, but everybody else wants to force me into being in this narrative of like the dangerous criminal, like, you know, dating a a top level singer and all of this stuff. And so people wanna say that dating me is like this, but really in the middle of the night in my dreams, you should see the things we do, baby, which could even not be sexual. It could just be stuff in general. So maybe that part isn't sexual, 
but in the middle of her night, in the nights in her dreams, that's her personally, that's her being sincere, that's not a facade, that's what she's thinking in her mind. Uh, and then I think the next thing she wants us to know is that it's a lot of satire in those verses. She's talking about how people perceive her, and she's like, fine, I'll play along with it for the verses, but I'm going to go back to who I really am in the choruses. Uh, and so that's why it's like way overblown, way overproduced, way electronic, but then it gets a lot simpler and positive, and the entire tone of the song changes in the chorus. Um, and that is, I think, probably leading us to the last point, and that's that she is tired of the narrative that people are putting her into, and she wants to be able to be free to go back to those choruses and date people the way that she wants to, without having everybody trying to interpret what she's doing as part of narratives in the verses. So she wants to be able people to see her as the chorus person, not as the verse verse persons. So anyway, guys, I would love to know your thoughts on Ready For It by Taylor Swift. I'm excited to hear more music from her, and I'm excited to hear your thoughts from you. So uh, feel free to subscribe and suggest another Taylor Swift song for me to explain in the future. Thanks for watching.